Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of World of Warcraft Classic. And for this episode, I wanted to show off the, uh, the Dunmoreau starting area and uh, give you a chance to meet Mindy Gearsprocket, I believe. Yes, Mindy Gearsprocket. So she is my no warrior. We're only level one at the moment. I'm probably gonna be leveling her quite a bit. What's on your mind? Ah, uh, well, aren't you a sturdy looking one? Perhaps you can assist me with a thing or two. Not much help around here except for green apprentices. They have other things to worry about. What do we have here? You look as though you might need something to keep your uh, your hands warm, hmm? I'll tell you what would help. A pair of nice warm gloves. And being the kind soul that I am, I'd be more than happy to provide you with a suitable pair. I have one condition, however. I need you to go get me some wolf meat. Nice arrangement, hmm? You'll bring me some wolf meat and I'll make sure you don't lose any digits to frostbite. Well, what do you say? Neat. I can get bear handler gloves. Alright, so this is World of Warcraft Classic Warrior, which means... Well, uh, we're not going to be doing all that much in the way of actual button presses. Um, for the most part, warriors just attack and every once in a while you get your rage up and can use heroic strike, at least here at the beginning. Um, but what they lack in attacks, they make up for in their ability to survive. So, that said, um, if the gnome episodes, I'm probably going to do a couple episodes, um, if people prefer the, uh, the warrior episodes over the rogue episodes, um, I might consider switching to the warrior once we get high enough level to equal the level of the rogue. That we were. Um, it's up to you guys, really. What you guys wanna, you know, what you guys prefer. That's it. I actually kind of need to hit the one button, the auto attack, with this character because that's really all I got. <laughs> at least at the moment, my skill in swords has increased to five. Ooh, a flimsy chain chain belt. Cool. So all we can wear right now is chain. Once we hit level 40, we'll be able to wear plate, which is completely different from the way it works in retail. Um, you start off with plate in retail, right at level one. So it's a, quite a bit of a difference, actually. So I said this quest is going pretty simply. Oh yeah, look at this. Way more survivability. I almost prefer this. <laughs> Only got a couple episodes out on my rogue. I might switch to this character. Um, just because. Whoops. I don't know what button I hit there, but I targeted myself. Oh wow, that's the first wolf that didn't drop meat. Heroic striking. Maybe you will never find out what happened to my rogue. <laughs> I don't know, I haven't decided yet. So, I might air this one as like episode 3 or something and see which, you know, which uh, character you guys prefer. I mean, you guys will know what I did. This is day two of vanilla. All right. Don't remember where to go f to turn in the quest. Probably up here. Oh, 
Over here. Can be a little hard to figure out where you have to go. Sometimes. Great to meet you. <laughs> Wolves giving you a bit of trouble. You do well to avoid the fangs and claws and other sharp bits, yes? Ah, wonderful. The wolf meat should do nicely. Oh, don't worry, Gear Sprocket. I wouldn't forget my part of the bargain. Yeah, one of these should fit you. Simple memorandum. While you were helping me out, this memorandum was given to me to pass on to you. To take some take some time to read it when you have a chance. I'm thinking it came from the warrior trained us on. Take a gander at it and go find him inside Envilmar when you have a chance. See you soon. Hi. Hmm, I don't suppose you'd be willing to do me a favor do a favor for me, lass. A stack of letters came through the past today, but I don't have the time to send them along. They're all addressed to Talon Kenai. You can find him to the west down the road. He set up camp next to the frozen lake. What do you say? Safe travels. Hilaire Fosshammer. I hope you're ready to lend us a hand, warrior. After the last trog attack, we could use all the help we can get. I hear the buggers have been hopped up all around the lands, and it seems Coldridge Valley is no exception. They've been spotted all over the hills to the southeast and near the frozen lake. And that's not all. Just a few nights ago, they attacked and overran our camp to the west. We're a bit short-handed here, lass, and we need strong arms, strong arms to help drive the trogs back. Be good. New threat. <coughs> Simple memorandum. So let's head into Anvilmar, which is right over here. And turn in simple memorandum. Let's see. He's somewhere around here. There he is. Thran Corman. Ah, well, another memorandum from a gnome on a mission. Isn't this quaint? No, no, I ain't teasing you, little one. Gotta respect your tenacity. That much is for sure. I'd be just as peeved if Iron Forge was taken by Dark Iron Dwarves, so don't be thinking I don't feel for your plight. Well, seeing how this is your prime directive, or whatever you're calling it, these days, I gave my word I'd do whatever I can to make sure you and yours were ready to take back your home. And that's just what I'm gonna do. Anytime you feel you're ready, come back to good old Thrawn, and I'll be happy to share my knowledge with you. There's some cost to be training you, but it won't be uh, too expensive. Good luck. On the Give me that battle shout. Or not. I have no money. <laughs> at all. I have zero monies. That's always fun. Do I have anything to sell? I think oh, I have yeah. something that I can sell. Boop. Boop. I need the ragged leather gloves, gloves, but you need the boar handler gloves. I'm surprised I hadn't equipped those yet. You can sell those, put these down here. Alright, now I have some monies. What can I do for you? You mean that battle shout? Alright, warrior shouts increasing the melee attack of all party members within 20 yards by 15. Lasts for 2 minutes. So I'll put that up there since it's a buff. Alright. Onward we go to turn in the stack of letters. Is it down here by the frozen lake, they said. There was also a new threat. Rock jaw, trog, and burly rock jaw. Trog. Those two. These guys, it looks like. And burly rock jaw, trog. Eventually, I'll get charge, and I'll use that at the beginning of combat, but I don't have that nowhere close to getting that. It's like level 6 or 8 or something like that. It's a ways away. So. Uh, 
And eventually I'd like to do a bunch of instances and things like that. But those will come. You know, those will come eventually. Guild RP meet and greet and rules and organization here today at 8 p.m. I will keep that in mind. Should be back by 8 p.m. I guess we'll see. Need more rage. It is funny though that all the thing, you know, everything here is classic, including all the models. And my people. Uh, I need regular rock jaw trogs now. These ones were all the burly ones. Um, I wonder if they're closer. Let's see. Let's go this way. Let's see here. These look like wolves. I'm looking for the regular rock jaw trolls or trogs. These ones are burly. Ah, here we go. Here's some rock regulars. Cool. I figured they were back here. <coughs> Belf Rogue? Doesn't he mean Nelf? That was a burly rock jaw trog, but I will take that. Very good leather vest. Actually, that's probably better than what I'm currently wearing. I literally don't even have a chest item right now. So yes it is. <laughs> I need a target. Ray shoes. Those might actually be better than what I'm currently wearing. Hey, it's uh, Bellular Gaming's ending theme. But yeah, this is where that music is from. Is here. And done now. Right robe. Let me. I actually want to turn the music up a little. Because I like the music. I just hope I didn't turn it up too much. <laughs> When I checked the audio, it seemed all right for the last couple of episodes I've done. So. But this gnome is going to be a tank. Absolutely. I'm going protection on the, uh, on my, uh, gnome here. So. As soon as I have the ability to go protection... You know, level 20 where, you know, you get talents and go on prot. I don't 
think that does anything for me. Oh yeah, it does. Increase melee attack power. Oh cool. I actually can use it for just me. Alright, let's go turn this quest in. And probably level up. Which would be fun. Also, I hope that I'm, like, talking enough. I... I have this, like, lapse of time sometimes. So it's like, was I talking? <laughs> you know, was I talking enough? Uh, you know. What's on your mind? <laughs> Give me... Uh... Rustic Belt. Everything else is terrible. The problems we've had here are indicative of what is happening elsewhere in our lands. My Magnus Beard, we have some troubles ahead of us. Can only hope that the King and Senate are taking steps to deal with the threat the Trogs pose. Be good. They absolutely are. I can guarantee you that. Alright. Level 3. Like I said, much better survivability. <laughs> Let's head on down into here. And we can talk to Felix Windlebolt. Apparently. We drove all the trogs out of Nomergan, but then it all went so horribly wrong. Now our home is completely irradiated, and we gnomes have been scared all over Dunmoreau. In my haste to get away from the radiation, I lost all my personal belongings and tools. It was the trolls that got them. They stole my chest, my box, and my bucket of bolts. They took them back to their camp southwest of Anvilmar. I'm no adventurer. Could you find my things and bring them here to me, please? Sure thing, Felix. Let me just uh, off put these items. Keep your feet on the ground. And, uh. What can I do for you? At 99. Go ahead and buy a short sword. Because it is better. I don't know when I get... I've never actually done any of the quests in this area as a... or in Classic, so I don't know anything about what quests give you what items and things. Um, but I would like a little bit more damage, so that's why I bought the short sword. So... Um, as for what profession is Mindy going to take, probably um, uh, engineering. So, it'll probably be engineering. Anyone needs help killing anything, just holla. I'm in the morrow. So... However you spell it. You got my attention. Goldridge Valley mail delivery. Yeah, yes, do you have something for me? Thank you. I've been waiting for these letters for quite some time. Fortunately these letters aren't all for me. This one is addressed to Grell and Whitebeard. He's not too far away if you'd like to deliver it to him. If I remember correctly, Grillin's camp is down the road to the southeast. No doubt he'll be eager to get his mail. Watch your back. What's on your mind? Nothing like a day of boar hunting, eh? No, here in Coldridge Valley, there are so many boars it almost takes the fun out of it. No need to get them charging. They're all angry and ready without any help. In fact, recently there have been so many boars in the area, it's become dangerous for me to do my daily hunting. Well, sure, I'll kill some dwarf. uh... Yeah, I'll kill some boars for you. It's a lot of trogs here. Boars are over here, it looks like. And give me that battle shout, give me that extra melee damage. Yay for shoulder pads. <laughs> yeah, no you do. You run all over the place for questing in this game. Especially in Westfall. Welcome to World of Warcraft. 
Vanilla. There are a lot of changes that I feel are better in retail. You know, I'm not going to sit here and praise Classic for all that's good, you know, like it's the best thing in the world. I'm excited that I get to play Classic, don't get me wrong. But I know that there's a lot of things I'm going to hate. So... What's on your mind? Greetings, girl. I'm Grill in Whitebeard. I'm here to examine the threat posed by the growing numbers of trolls in Coldridge Valley. What have I found? It's a bit troubling. Is that something I can help you with? Ah, excellent. It's been a while since I received word from Ironforge. My brother Senia and I were sent to different parts of Dunmoreau to investigate the threat posed by the trolls. Senia has its hands full with the trolls, so I have no need for further annoyances. From what I've seen, the trolls aren't well situated here in Coldridge Valley. Mostly the southern cave. It's mostly the southern cave. I'd say that the army will not be necessary. A few strong arms should be more than enough. Perhaps you'd like to assist in the endeavor? I have the authority to offer compensation for your help. Ooh. I get a hammer. I don't need a hammer. Well, I might take the hammer. It looks a little bit better. So... Still need to kill these boars, though. I don't know where the boars are. <laughs> I'm having trouble finding the boars. I think other people are on this quest line, and that's my problem. Like, other people are killing all the boars. I gotta kill 12 boars, though. Harvest golems. Ouch. <laughs> Find out why people are scared of harvest golems. Yeah, there's a reason. There is a reason for that. Kind of breeze through a thing of kill burlocks. Might do harvesters for hops. I don't know. Building my defense, building my swords. Doing good. Here's some more boars over this way. There's a dwarf. Compared to the dwarves, I am tiny. Like seriously. I mean, compared to anything, I'm tiny. But, like... Seriously, I'm really, I am tiny. It's pretty great. The one thing I do like about gnomes is that they're so freaking tiny. I actually used to be one of those people that disliked gnomes. Um, but they kind of grew on me. I don't know, I just like started playing one one day. And I was like, this is fun. You know? So, I don't know. They're not terrible, you know. Um, escape artist. I should put that down here. It's a uh, gnome racial that lets you get out of... Um, like, if you get bound or something like that, so that you can't move, it lets you get out of that. Bound, being restrained, that sort of thing. Yeah, I don't have a target. See, the uh, the voice clips haven't changed any. Rock strike. I got a frayed cloak. I believe that's my first cloak. Cool. There do seem to be a lot of boars in this area, so that's good. Another shout, because my other shout was about to run out. Gotta do that battle shout. <laughs> 
Give you that increase to uh, melee. Ooh, a small black pouch. I'll take that. Gladly take that. Here's some more boars over there. Here are more boars over there. That was well said. <laughs> There's quite a few boars over here. I have much greater survivability on this character. I will probably have more fun on this character. So, I don't know. I haven't decided yet. I feel like I really want to play this character more just because of the survivability and, you know, I love tanking. So, I also like my warlock, though. Uh, well, there's the trolls that I've got to go after. They're only level three, so I might as well. These are not horde trolls, though. These are just frost main trolls. The uh, horde trolls are the dark spear. Ooh, flimsy chain vest. How about that? That's really good armor. Neat. I want Thorak to lose an eye in RP. Oh dear. I mean, that's one thing about um uh my rogue character if I get her high enough level and I manage to get one I'm gonna give her an eye patch for role play so that would be fun we'll see what happens though get wrecked I need 14 of these guys jeez I mean, I'll take them all. I'll take them all out. I'll definitely kill 14 of them. But my God, I got to kill 14. Time to shout. Hi, it looked cool. <laughs> um, my rogue is. Technically missing an eye. I just don't have the eye patch. There's one. I just don't have an eye patch. Ragged leather bracers I have no rest item, so I will put on leather bracers for now. There's that music again. <laughs> I just I immediately recognize it because it's the ending credit, like the ending theme for Bellular Games or Bellular Gaming. Well, whatever it is. I like Bellular. He's cool. I also like Pyromancer. Pyromancer's got a lot of good theories about what's coming up. So. I'm pretty excited. I mean, unfortunately, I don't have Battle for Azeroth. So I won't get a chance to... Play 8.2 or 8.25 or any of that. Um, but I know that it'll come out and be free whenever, you know, the next patch, the next expansion comes out. So if I have money at that point, I'm gonna do that. So you'd be like, yep, 
let's uh, let's go start playing Battle for Azeroth, you know? I heard that at the beginning it was not good, but 8.2 basically fixed everything, so... And 8.25 is set to do a lot of changes. So... And they... There might be... Something odd going on. Because they're adding a... Like Horde and Alliance icon to your characters. And so a lot of people think that what's going to happen is that they're going to... Like... Not necessarily combine factions. You know, there's not there's still going to be Horde and Alliance, but like you can choose Horde or Alliance, you know? Starting next expansion. And I think that would be cool. You know? I would love to get my Void Elf into the Alliance. You know? I'd love to take my Worgen into the Horde. So it would be fun. So, because I guess the, the Horde and the Alliance are really bonding right now in Battle for Azeroth. Um, like, because of everything that Sylvanas has done, they're like really coming together. And I know that a lot of people are upset about the way Sylvanas is being written, but I mean... We don't know where she's going with this. So for all we know, it could be that there's a major reason for what she's doing, you know? She could turn out to actually be very well written. We just don't want to believe it because she's so different. And it's like, yeah, no, there's a reason why she's doing what she's doing. I guarantee it. You know? She's the... First off, she's the war chief, so of course she's going to want to fight the alliance, you know. But also, like, who knows what she's after. You know. And I think it's always sad when people call a character not well written. Just because they act different than normal. It's like, you don't know. They might be acting perfectly in line with their character, you know? It might just be that you think they're badly written and out of character because you don't realize what's going on. So... Oh my goodness, I didn't even notice the time on the episode. Um... Well, these pants are better. Excellent! And go back to my leisurely hunting now. Thank you, Gear Sprocket. Good. Alright, well I'm going to go ahead and end off this episode. I do hope you've enjoyed. If you did, feel free to subscribe. Check the video description down below for a link to the playlist. That way you can get caught up on any episodes you might have missed. And I will see you all next time. See you later.